holy moly. I'm in my kayak. I haven't kayaked for maybe two years. I'm working with the element of water and last night in my journey space, I was feeling into my lighthouse embodiment and that's an easy energy to get into. It's earth, it's my body, it's grounded. But when I shift my focus and put my consciousness in the water and attempted to imagine what my watercraft would look like and what it feels like to be in the water, it was much harder for my imagination to settle into what my watercraft looks like. And being in the water is definitely more foreign of an experience for me than being on the land. So I thought that it was an important part of my journey, my process today, to create a watercraft, which I have, which is my kayak. And be on the water and connect Hello! Hi! Hi! I'm trying to find a Oh my gosh, that's fun! And feel the waves and the movement and the different level of trust that comes in. There's a very different level of trust that my body mind engages in when I'm on the water versus on the land. So I want to experiment and play and connect in with the viscosity of water. Of water, of water, of water. So I just passed an inlet, which I hiked last night and it was very buggy, very stagnant. And so I'm going to row forward and I think there is another inlet up here. I can do some water magic with you. I. So one of the things that I've been connecting with is that water creates weather. Water creates weather. It heats and cools the atmosphere which influence currents of water and air. It makes the clouds, it makes the rain, the hail, the fog, the mist, and the morning dew. Water creates weather. What weather is percolating inside of you? What is flowing? What is frozen? What is moving and what is stagnant? These are contemplations that water gives to me. And so now I'm kayaking and singing to thee. And, um, ooh, I'm looking for a place on the lake that has somewhat of a flatness that I can put my shade structure up on. And a place that I can easily dock my kayak and that I can swim in the water. Thinking I wanna, I see like a white tree in front of me. I'm gonna make it to that location. See what shows up. So I was rowing and saw this white wood from a while away. And I rowed towards it as my lighthouse. And it led me to a little alcove that I was looking for dead west. The lighthouse led me where I need to be, where I want to be, where I am.
Mmm. Look at this amazing interaction between root and rock. And the roots reach down towards the water. Water is life. There's sustenance. Water is what makes life juicy. This was my lighthouse as I was kayaking. going in. I went swimming in the water, topless, in a little cove. And I got out of the cove and I turned around and there was a huge snake. Brrr, huge, thick bull snake. I ran and got my camera and took pictures. I am so glad I was out of the water when I saw him because swimming with snakes in waters is something I don't particularly like to do. It's a fear. I've been in waters several times and poof, there's a snake and I freak out. <laughs> and as I was swimming in the water I could feel like the roots of trees rubbing against my body and that's like the unknown of the depths underneath the water is a uh, can be scary. 